Anne Musungu Katie News, Nairobi. Thank you very much, Anne Musungu. The question remains, what is the fate of the students? We keep engaging you, especially on our social media platforms and as far as matters education is concerned. Moving on, President William Ruto has announced an enhancement on the para, uh, paramilitary training for the NYS recruits who will now receive basic firearm training. The president spoke at the NYS Academy Gilgil, where he presided over a pass parade for 15,000 recruits, where he announced that the service will increase the number of recruits per intake to 20,000 next year. Ken Gashuhe with a detailed report. Accompanied by Public Service Cabinet Secretary Justin Muturi, President William Ruto arrived at the National Youth Service Academy in Gilgil, Nakuru County, where he presided over a pass-out parade for 15,000 NYS recruits. <laughs> for the first time, the head of state announced that paramilitary training for the recruits will now include firearms training, preparing them as reserve officers for national security and defense. The paramilitary training that these young men and women go through will include a basic course in firearms to make sure that they stand ready to protect the country when the need arises. The president also announced an increase in the number of recruits by intake by 5,000 offering more opportunities to the youth at a time when many are grappling with unemployment. As I have directed that the next recruitment will have 20,000 recruits, I have today approved the recruitment of 200 additional cadet officers into the NYS and 500 private officers to support in the exemplary work that is going on at the National Youth Service. These changes are part of the ongoing transformation of the service, which includes an increase in the number of NYS officers joining the National Police Service and the Kenya Defense Forces. The National Youth Service personnel are grateful to you for improving their terms and conditions of service following the ongoing implementation of the Maraga Tax Force recommendations. Successful implementation of this initiative will ensure that the service not only sustains itself, but also thrives, generating its own revenue to support essential training and skill development programs. KTN News. There you have it, opportunity and empowerment and as far as NYS is concerned. Let's take a look at our big question tonight. The president says the National Youth Service training needs to be even-handed to incorporate basic farm arm training. Now, on the big question tonight, we ask you, do you think it's a good idea to offer basic firearm lessons to the NYS rookies? Send your yes or no answers to our toll-free number, 22151. And also tag us on X at KTN News and at Doris Anki using the hashtag Checkpoint. We will sample some of your contributions during this live newscast.